The image is burned into our collective memory, a churning mass of water, razor-sharp teeth flashing, and the horrifying sound of flesh tearing. Piranhas. The very name evokes a primal fear, a vision of a watery abyss ruled by ruthless killers. Hollywood has turned them into monsters of the deep, but how much of this fear is deserved? Are piranhas truly the embodiment of aquatic terror? The truth is far more nuanced than fiction would have us believe. These fish, denizens of South American rivers, have become synonymous with aggression and insatiable hunger. Their reputation precedes them, painting a picture of relentless predators. But behind the myth lies a fascinating creature, perfectly adapted to its environment. Piranhas belong to a diverse family of fish known as Sarasalmidae. This family encompasses a wide array of species, not all of which conform to the stereotypical image of the bloodthirsty predator. However, it is the subfamily Sarasalmini, the true piranhas, that capture our imagination and fuel our nightmares. Within this subfamily, several genera stand out, and each genus comprises numerous species, each with its own unique characteristics and adaptations. However, the most infamous member of the piranha family, the one most often associated with tales of aquatic terror, is the red-bellied piranha. Their most striking feature, the one that has cemented their place in our nightmares, is their teeth. Piranhas possess a single row of razor-sharp teeth on each jaw, perfectly designed for their carnivorous lifestyle. These teeth are not merely sharp, they are tricuspid, meaning they have three cusps, much like a shark's tooth. This design allows for maximum cutting efficiency, enabling them to tear through flesh with ease. And as if their bite wasn't formidable enough, piranha teeth are also replaceable. Throughout their lives, they continuously grow new teeth, ensuring that their bite remains a potent weapon. The image of a piranha frenzy, a feeding storm of snapping jaws and churning water is enough to make even the most hardened individual think twice about venturing into their domain. Their reputation as voracious carnivores precedes them, but the reality of their diet is far more complex. While it is true that piranhas are equipped to hunt and kill prey, their diet is far more varied than popular culture would have us believe. Piranhas are opportunistic omnivores, meaning they will readily consume a wide range of food sources depending on availability. Their diet includes insects, fish, crustaceans, worms, carrion, seeds, and even plant matter. In fact, some piranha species are primarily herbivorous, relying heavily on fruits and seeds for sustenance. Their feeding habits are also far less dramatic than often depicted. While they are capable of bursts of speed and aggression when hunting or scavenging, Piranhas are generally not the relentless killing machines they are made out to be. They play a crucial role in their ecosystem, acting as scavengers, cleaning up dead animals and preventing the spread of disease. Their presence helps maintain a healthy balance within their environment. How dangerous are piranhas to humans? The answer is complex and often misunderstood. Piranhas are predators with a powerful bite but the threat to humans is exaggerated by myth in Hollywood. Documented attacks are rare and mostly occur in the Amazon basin. Fatal attacks are incredibly rare. Most bites happen in murky water due to accidental contact. Bites are usually nips on hands and feet. The myth of piranhas stripping a human to the bone is just that, a myth. Experts say it would take hundreds of piranhas hours to consume a human body. Piranhas are more likely to be eaten by people. Piranha fishing is popular and their meat is a delicacy in some cultures. Section 5. The Ancient Origins of Piranhas The evolutionary history of piranhas is a tale of adaptation and survival, shaped by the dynamic forces of geological change and environmental pressure. These fish, native to South America, have a lineage that stretches back millions of years, their story intertwined with the very land masses they inhabit. The Amazon Basin, a vast network of rivers and rainforests, is considered the heartland of piranha evolution. It was here, amidst the flooded forests and murky waterways, that these fish first emerged, their ancestors diverging from their closest relatives, the Pacas, around 25 million years ago. The Pacas, primarily herbivorous fish, provide a stark contrast to their carnivorous cousins, highlighting the evolutionary divergence that has taken place over millennia. 
The flooding of the Amazon plain by the Atlantic Ocean, a cataclysmic event that occurred around 5 million years ago, played a pivotal role in shaping piranha evolution. This event created a vast inland sea, isolating populations of fish and driving rapid speciation. It was during this period that many of the piranha species we know today emerged, each adapting to the unique conditions of its isolated environment. Section 6. Adaptable Killers The success of piranhas in such a diverse and often unforgiving environment is a testament to their remarkable adaptations. These fish have evolved a suite of physical and behavioral traits that allow them to thrive in a variety of habitats from fast-flowing rivers to stagnant backwaters. Their powerful, streamlined bodies are perfectly suited for life in the water. They are capable of bursts of speed, allowing them to chase down prey or escape predators. Their lateral line system, a series of sensory organs that run along their bodies, enables them to detect vibrations in the water, helping them locate prey, avoid obstacles, and navigate in murky conditions. Their most iconic adaptation, of course, is their teeth. As previously mentioned, their razor-sharp, tricuspid teeth are perfectly designed for tearing through flesh. These teeth, combined with their powerful jaws, give them a bite force disproportionate to their size, allowing them to tackle prey much larger than themselves. Their teeth are also constantly replaced, ensuring that they always have a fresh set of weapons at their disposal. Section 7. A Fish Out of Water Piranhas in Popular Culture Piranhas occupy a strange and often contradictory space in our collective consciousness. We are simultaneously fascinated and repulsed by them, drawn to their ferocity while simultaneously fearing their power. This dichotomy is reflected in the way they are portrayed in popular culture. Often depicted as mindless killing machines, their image manipulated to elicit fear and excitement. From early horror films like Piranha in 1978, to more recent outings like Piranha 3D in 2010, these fish have been cast as the villains of countless aquatic nightmares. These films often exaggerate their size, aggression, and intelligence, turning them into monstrous caricatures of their real-life counterparts. While entertaining, these depictions contribute to the widespread misunderstanding and fear surrounding piranhas. The reality is far less terrifying. Piranhas are wild animals, and like all wild animals, they deserve our respect and caution. However, they are not the mindless killing machines they are often portrayed to be. They are complex creatures perfectly adapted to their environment, playing a vital role in the delicate balance of their ecosystem. Section 8. Respecting the Razor Understanding the truth about piranhas is essential not only to dispel the myths that surround them but also to foster a sense of respect for these often maligned creatures. Their role in their ecosystem is crucial, and their presence is an indicator of a healthy and balanced environment. It is important to remember that piranhas are wild animals, and as such, they should be treated with caution and respect. Avoid swimming in areas known to have high piranha concentrations, especially during their breeding season when they are more likely to be territorial. If you must fish in these areas, do so with care and avoid provoking the fish. The conservation of piranhas and their habitats is crucial. Deforestation, pollution and climate change all pose significant threats to these fish and the ecosystems they inhabit. By supporting sustainable practices and advocating for the protection of their environments, we can help ensure the survival of these fascinating creatures for generations to come. Section 9. Conclusion. Swimming with the Truth. The piranha, a fish shrouded in myth and legend, its image distorted by fear and exaggeration, deserves a closer look. Beneath the surface, Beyond the razor-sharp teeth and the reputation for ferocity, lies a complex and fascinating creature, perfectly adapted to its environment, playing a vital role in the delicate balance of its ecosystem. While it is essential to acknowledge the potential danger they pose, it is equally important to recognize that they are not the mindless killing machines they are often portrayed to be. 
Piranhas are opportunistic omnivores, their diet far more varied than popular culture would have us believe. They are scavengers, predators, and even prey themselves, their lives intertwined with the countless other species that call the Amazon Basin home. By separating fact from fiction, by understanding their biology, behavior, and the true extent of the danger they pose, we can move beyond the fear and appreciate these remarkable fish for what they truly are, survivors shaped by the unforgiving hand of nature. The piranha, a symbol of both fear and fascination, stands as a reminder of the power and complexity of the natural world, a world we are only just beginning to understand.